charge of discharge of rhyme. Greedy comics, toys are hella sick, hell whacking it. Take a bad hit, take a bad hit, start a mix. A subscribe machine for domains. And shoulder cannon prime, blah blah blah. What's up you guys, Sharpness Prime here doing another Figma action figure review on the Figma Max Factory product number 226, the Avengers Captain America figure. If you're trying to get your Figma Avengers figures, you can give me a big bad toy store. Big, big, big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. You get this window box packaging over here. You can see Cap is all wrapped in plastic in there. It looks like there's some plastic on the shield too. Looks pretty cool. The standard little pose or he's just standing there really. And then we get a bunch of cool poses. I love the way these people pose their figures. They look awesome. And then you get this bio on Captain America. If you, uh, mushy mushy I sukune, I in kukudu, I in sakurudu. You get a very intense looking Captain America. Wow, that is intense! And very cool pose at the top and the bottom of the figure. Anyway, let's get to it and crack this thing open. So, here's the Figma Captain America out of the packaging, and this is a pretty cool figure. I do have numerous gripes with it, though. Uh, I think it's overall a little disappointing, especially for the $80 price point. This is not a cheap figure. I have a feeling it's mostly due to the licensing and whatnot, but yeah. Uh, let's take a closer look at all the accessories, then we'll take a closer look at this Captain America. So he does come with the standard issue Figma stand, clear plastic over here, rotates at the bottom, hinge, 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 and then you get these two different pegs. So you get this one right here if you want to plug that one in, or you could just use that one right there. The figure has articulated eyes, so he comes with this tool to help you with that. Figure has 11 interchangeable hands. You get five pairs of hands over here. You get fisted hands. You get these gripping hands. You get a wider gripping hand, open palm hand. You get these shield catching hands or saluting hands right over here, which do not have much sculpted detail in there. You can see it looks very flat. Uh, I don't really like that so much, but it does help with holding the shield, I guess. Then you get one Hulk smash hand. Then we get Captain America's shield, which is painted very well. I like this metallic paint they have throughout, and it feels like it's a pretty strong paint, too. And here's the back of it. Nice silver paint over here. I like the browns. Then we have these two straps. Putting the shield on is not fun at all. So I have the smaller loop in here, and I have the L-shaped port uh, sticking up at the very top. This is for his left hand, so that's what I'm using. And I'm using the widest gripping hand right there. So you want to find the side that has the larger gap between the two ports. That's for the smaller loop. Yeah, so you have to like remember all these little things when you're putting this stuff together. There that goes. And then you take the other loop and then you want to make sure the buckle is uh, at the bottom side. And there it goes, falling out of my hand because everything's all tiny. And now we have that all locked into place and the hand detached, great. Okay, now there it goes. Yeah, not fun, but you know, as soon as I start moving it around, yeah, there, there goes the hand. Ah, it's so frustrating! Ah! And I don't know, the shield looks like it's a little on the small side in proportion to the rest of the body of the figure, but uh, it's not too bad. It looks small over here, not so small when you look at it like that. And lastly, they give you a sandwich bag. Apparently Figma makes good sandwiches. So I'm not a big fan of this head sculpt. I don't really think it looks like Chris Evans. I think the silver on the A came out very well, and same thing with the wings on the side of the helmet. I think the helmet is sculpted quite well, but the face I don't really like so much. I don't like like the color choice either. I think it's very, very bright. It does have a flesh colored wash in it, and uh, you know, it's still really hard to see even with that wash. He has these very bright green eyes over here. Uh, looking over here at the side, you can see the seam where you're supposed to separate it to, you know, move the eyes and everything. And you get some more sculpting right here on the back of the helmet and stuff. So, yeah, to move the eyes around, you would just want to detach that right over there. And you can see he has those two pegs that, you know, you could use to move them around, which isn't fun. Uh, you could just plug this in or you can nudge him around with this side. But either way it's not that easy and both with the Thor and this figure it seems like the left eye seems to be more stiff than the right eye which is frustrating so you go to try to move it and then boy you've moved the eye all the way off. So I like the paintwork on the figure overall. We have a lot of nice clean line work and everything and the silver is great and the white came out very clean and all that you know the red looks very good and everything but I'm not a fan of the sculpting. I think it's too smooth of a figure. I would have liked some kind of texture going on over here. Like it's just too too smooth. It's just kind of weird to me. I'm not really digging that so much for this type of figure anyway. Like for the animes and stuff like that, I expect those to be really smooth. I'm glad you could see the muscle definition. I think the muscle definition looks pretty good. You can get some lines sculpted in there, but you know, for the most part, you know, I feel like there's still a lot of flat surfaces over here. Now this top section over here is made out of a pliable material, so it rests on top of the figure. This is all one loose piece right over here. It's not really connected. Uh, I'd notice he does have this big 
bulging section right here. Run into the same thing with the Marvel Legends version of this figure where it had this big bulk right here and I don't really like that too much. The belt came out looking pretty nice though. Nice silver paint apps. Got some red bleeding on the pouches over here. Uh, that kind of sucks. Then you get this section over here which I don't really like too much. I guess this went down. Uh, for a while I had it posed with his legs up and then afterwards there's quite a period of time where these were still flapped up for a little while but I guess they've sunken down so that's not too bad. Nice zipper right over there. So you get some, you know, there's some texturing just right there on the side of the knee. That's really all you get. But then you get those giant wheels right there on, behind the knee, and that kind of sucks. But the boots look pretty cool. I really like the boots a lot, to be honest with you. Nice silver paint apps, variation of reds over here. And then some nice texturing at the bottom of his feet. His head does not move up that much, and that is a disappointment for me. That, that really sucks. That's it. That's all I get. For an $80 figure, that's as far up as it can look. For a Japanese import, yeah, that, that kind of sucks. And his head can move down quite a bit. It can rotate side to side. And you get a little bit of neck pivot right there. Uh, his shoulders are on this ball joint that's connected to the torso, so you do get the armpit joint, and it can move up and down, uh, you know, where it connects into the torso. But you also get a shoulder joint that allows that to move outward. You can move that forward. No bicep rotation over there. What the hell? Uh, he does have a single jointed elbow, and it can rotate at the elbow. He rotates at the wrist and hinges up and down at the wrist. He has a diaphragm joint over here, and man, this muscle right here looks really weird. As soon as you move those arms up, you get these weird wings over here, and I really don't like that. But anyway, he can crunch forward, he can move back, rotate side to side, and he gets some pivot over there. He also has a waist joint that rotates side to side, pivot, crunches forward and back at the waist a lot too. His legs can move all the way outward, they can kick very far forward, he has an upper thigh rotation. This leg does pop out on me quite a bit. He has a single jointed knee that bends in that much. Ankles move down, they move up he does have toe articulation and it rotates side to side a little bit and you get only a little bit of ankle pivot I wish we had a lot more ankle pivot than that so this cap figure stands right at six inches tall so here's Figma cap compared to Hasbro's three three quarter inch Captain America and the six inch Avengers Captain America and you can see that this guy will not really fit into a Marvel Legends display he's just a little too short and here's cap compared to the Figma Avengers Thor figure and then we have the Hasbro Avengers Hulk figure from the six inch line and I think this Hulk figure works out in perfect scale with these two figures. I like the size difference between the Figma Thor and Figma Cap, but as I'd mentioned in my very first Marvel figure review of all time, uh, I have this whole thing where I feel like a human should stand at about uh, the chest or the nipples of, yeah, looking right into the nipples of the Hulk. Oh, this right. Iron Man stands just underneath Hulk's Hit. Here's Captain America compared to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. So as much as I complained about the ankle articulation, I can still get Cap in a running pose standing on one foot over here, even though it is a little tricky and I get the foot, you know, angled off kind of strange. So, you know, overall, oh man, I'm pretty disappointed in the figure, even though it still is cool. It has the cool functions of a Figma figure, but for a Figma, I think it's disappointing. The head can't look up so well. I don't like the ankle articulation. The shield's a pain in the ass. I mean, it's not a great figure. I cannot give this figure a strong recommendation, but if you're you're a huge cap fan and I say go for it. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my video. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe, and check out MarvelousNews.com for the latest in Marvel related news. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, shut up. <laughs>